we're playing Super Liminal. I've never played it before. Uh, I've seen a couple of clips of how the game works. I know that it has to do with, like, growing and shrinking things. That's really all I know. I was excited by the fact that the title fell when I clicked on it in the menu screen. And we've missed that moment. We lost it forever. Terms, terms of service. Wait, I didn't... I didn't mean to sign that. Glad I agreed to sell my soul away. No! I didn't sign up for that. So if I want to make something smaller, that means I need to look at it from far away and then turn towards a very close wall. And now it's tiny. Terms of service accepted. Again, I didn't agree to that. I just looked at the paper. Welcome. <laughs> there we go. Look at me go. Oh, 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 that's... Confirmed. That's nauseating. What the hell? The no entry sign is like shrugging like, I don't know man, there's no door here. Big cheese, that's what they call me. That's, that's kind of creepy. Why is it boarded up? Why is that a two-way mirror? I don't like that. I don't like any of that. Oh, the music stopped. That's upsetting. A variable degree of force cannon will be authorized to ensure patient safety. I don't. Please return. I don't know if I like that either. I'm bringing. I'm bringing my soda can of safety with me. So even the rules don't have rules in this game. That's that's an important thing to know. Okay. Ah, the cheese returns. Our old friend Cheese is here to save the day. Is there perhaps a way to? Shrink myself with perspective so I can fit through there. Alright, we can just take the walls down. There we go. Big cheese. Feels like I cheesed that puzzle. Oh my god, that's the joke there, isn't it? Who built all this stuff in Dreamland? Where's Leonardo DiCaprio? Ooh, can I pull the fire alarm? Are there more? I'm trying to touch everything I possibly can. Okay, that was rude. I feel cheated, and now my stomach's turning. Oh, good. We're awake. Good, everybody loves to wake up in a gated hallway. Sweet F. I feel like I'm higher up the rankings than that. I'm, I'm kind of an A vibe, you know? Like, am I dreaming or am I awake? Or is this reality or all just a dream? Do I know the difference? Oh, this is definitely still a dream. Has to be. Who builds a desk like this with no cabinets in it? No cubbies? No nothing? Is the secretary just supposed to keep stuff in their lap? Ooh, I got a green soda this time. My favorite. See, if you get too close to a wall, their scaling thing does bug out just a little bit. It kind of gives you an idea of how that actually works, which is neat. So, like, if I stand here, it'll snap to the larger size, right? What the hell? <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> what happened to the green soda? It was my favorite. I've got a big soda, and I'm not afraid to use it. Ooh, this is the hallway from the from from all of the promotional art. I'm gonna make sure this place is not at all ready in the event of a fire. Okay. Oh ah. Oh. Well, hello there. Yep. It's, we're we're back to only up, people. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. I'm gonna be honest. That doesn't make me feel great, Mr. Pierce. Uh, we've got oh, we, we've got us an object summon happening. That's some. That's some sus paint right there. It's a facade! I, I don't like being lied to like this. How do I feel about those hotel AC units? Uh, they always have a strange smell coming from them. Do we think that in the surface world, they're just sitting there staring at my comatose body like, what do we do? Has anybody here ever had a lucid dream? I've tried, and I feel like I succeeded. But that success really just mostly made me feel like it's not actually possible. You think awake and asleep are on a spectrum, and you're not sure that active thought construction can only occur at your most awake. I guess that's a fair point, right? What that leads me to then is that, like, the concept of lucid dreaming kind of loses its meaning. Like, it, the concept of lucid dreaming is kind of precluded by the idea that you have active control over your thought and behavior on, like, a very granular level, which you kind of don't. Because you're coming up with explanations subconsciously for the things you do all the time every day. But yes, you are, you're absolutely right. I do agree that it's not like a, it's not a black and white thing. And I guess that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Anyway, can I steal the moon? Oh my God. Oh, it has a tiny radio on it. Punch my parents in the face. Whatever you say, ominous voice from nowhere. <laughs> uh, have I ever had strange dreams from late night Doritos? I do sometimes get weird dreams. 
if I eat something really spicy and I'm having to like run to the bathroom in the middle of the night or something like that, because that happens. A little more detail about me than you wanted. Hey, hey. Congrats, I'm awake. We did it! Yeah, we beat the game! <laughs> yeah, applause all around, everybody. Oh, god damn it. Oh, dip. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're just gonna stare at this until it means something. At a certain point in my life, I got tired of pretending I remembered things. Got old enough and I was just like, fuck it. I, don't, I genuinely don't remember. I've been lying about this my entire life. Why is this die cake? I'm just gonna go in. I regret going in. What makes me like dice so much, it's my dream. I have a very severe gambling addiction. Every copy of Superliminal is personalized. All right, so what the hell's the deal with this cube? There's a shadow underneath it. I'm already suspicious. This one's just a regular one? Ah! I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't- I don't like that. I don't want to do this. What's happening? Are there more fire extinguishers? See, the other ones have white lights on them. Why does that one have red lights? I don't like this dream. Ah! Oh, shit! The door's gone! No. Uh, why are we in a meat locker? Those are- those are the telltale meat locker flaps. I've seen scary movies. This is where people die. Oh good! Blood. And a handprint. Who doesn't like a bloody handprint? Jesus Christ. It's just a game, Austin. It's just a video game. See, I put both headphones on because I was sensing vibes and I felt like I should immerse myself in whatever was about to happen. I'm regretting that. If- if my doorbell rings, I might scream. Is it because I hit the fire extinguishers? Is that the- I'm sorry. Well, at least the schedule's clear. Sunday beans. That looks good. Am I supposed to walk out into the dark? Oh, fuck you. Come on. This is where Austin enters, enters the high language portion of the video. Okay, whatever's gonna happen, let's just do this. Uh, plants. Diet. <laughs> I liked that one. Maybe it's ketchup, you know? That was a meat locker, right? So it could be beef blood. It could be some kind of barbecue sauce. There, there are all sorts of options other than blood. Oh, good. I'm sure this will be a totally normal visit from the radio. Hello. My name is... Hi, Dr. Glenn. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams. Is that not what's happening? Go fuck yourself, voice lady. Where's Freddy fucking Krueger? Let's go. Come on. I am, I am too broken down by nerves to be able to think my way through this situation. Well, the good news is I was planning on playing more horror games. The bad news is I kind of wanted to be aware that was going to happen. It wasn't blood, it was all just paint. Right. Sure. It could just be blood in paint cans. Yeah, maybe they're really eccentric. Is it gonna stop me? Oh god, the door does it too. Oh, we made dominoes. Oh, good. Blue sky. Truman Show vibes. Quit hitting me with these shadows. You've burned me now. I don't trust you. Wait, when did my reticule become a happy face? It is super weird that they just, like, took a detour into terrifying. I, I, I'm still very suspicious that that's gonna come back. Lola, you're not protecting me from anything. The things I'm afraid of are inside this monitor and there's nothing you can do about them. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not feeling very relaxed. Okay, addendum. This is pretty nice. Sick. Cool. This game is really a trip. It's- I mean, they- they should be commended. This is really well designed. Five to six dreams is the absolute limit. What's the emergency protocol for the emergency protocol? Hmm. Whoa! Down indeed. Okay. We are on our side. Oh, come on! I can just kind of...
Man, every time I get it at the right angle, it's at the wrong size. Like, I don't have enough room to move around in here. Oh, for fuck's sake. How long has this been here? Oh, great. Our good friend the elevator is back. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, because the whole room is sure. My vision's blurry. Have we actually done it? There's no way we've actually done it. Can I take it through the door? Oh. Yeah, because there's no grill on that door. Great idea. Yeah, paradoxes. This would be a paradox. Put it inside of itself. Nice, Melody. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that means we were doing the right thing. This is a game you own and meant to play. Is it good? It is good, but you're seeing the end, if that matters to you. We are in some weird shit right now. There's a light switch on that tank, or on that container. Did I do it? This is really good. This is a great game. I'm glad that it wasn't scary all the way through. Well, and we'll be playing, um, what's it called? Subnautica soon. And that's scary, but in, li not in a, like, there's gonna be a jump scare way, right? It's just in the, it's really ominous kind of way. What am I doing with the rest of my hour and a half? It doesn't feel like enough time to do... Tears. Maybe we could screw around with, uh, how are we gonna, we gonna play with tabs for an hour and a half? That doesn't seem likely.